we are going to jump in the car and take off to a Liberty University football game. It has been a while since I've been at a football game. I watch them all the time on TV, but the last time I was there was when I was working and I had to work every home game. So I haven't been back since, but I wanna take you so you can get a little glimpse and see what it's like to attend a game at Liberty University. Go Flames! Here we are driving into the stadium. This is Wards Road, and that does pick up quite a bit of traffic on game day or game night. So here we are going into the tunnel, and you will see up at the traffic light on the other side of the road, there's a big sign up on the brick slash stone wall, which gives you directions. So if you're parking in this color lot or that color lot, it tells you where to go. A pretty good job of giving you directions on where to go and getting to the right parking spot. Because if you don't go the right way, you're gonna be driving in big circles, getting out on 29, coming back on Ward's Road, circling around, trying to get to the right location. So it was a really nice job as far as directions and getting you to the right place. Now we are parked at the bookstore, that was our spot and we're walking right across to the main entrance, gate one. This is some tailgating. You have tailgating in the parking lot. You have these tents set up. I'm not sure exactly how you get one of these tents other than giving a lot of money, but people have these tents and they're out there tailgating, playing cornhole, doing different kind of events, eating some food. Looks like a good time, a really nice time. So this is just us Miranda, Mirandering. No, I'm not reading your Miranda rights. You don't need your Miranda rights. This is us meandering around until we get inside. Up to the front gate, here we go. We're gonna take you right through the LU sign, and then we're gonna get ourselves through security. There you go. Now we're inside. Let's jump over here to this rail so I can just point out a couple things. This hill right beneath me used to be one big hill. You're going to get a view of that from a different spot soon. Over there, are the big Carter Towers and behind the glass you can have some really nice views up there if you are invited up into that area for some reason by someone with some VIP passes. These things off to the left, that's where we are going. Friends of ours have a cabana so we're going to stop in that cabana and that's where we'll be watching the game. Those are pretty nice. Those are fairly new and um, you have to be a member of the Flames Club and then course give a certain donation level to get inside they have a fan they have a TV they have a little heater in the back and you have eight seats with each cabana four right up on the counter and then four high back chairs just taking a look right there at the television crew see that right there it's different tiered level which is really cool now people can go down there and sit there safely kids go down there and play around during the game while people are up in the cabanas and again, that used to just be one big steep hill where I was the police officer chasing kids off of it because it was kind of dangerous. And so now it's nice and safe. Here's the visiting team coming in and the home crowd giving him some very nice welcoming. Boom, boom, yeah, that's how we do. And again, just showing you the TV, the nice little setup you have, you can watch instant replays we'll have one on there later and uh, you can or you can put a different game on if you have uh, i don't know philly's playoffs games going on you can watch that all right we got taco trucks we have um what's over here popcorn uh, domino's pizza i'll show you this on the other side as well this is kind of nice i mean safety wise i think you're giving up some safety i mean someone could hop one of those little fences out there but they opened those gates, put some light fencing around the food truck area to increase the number of concessions that they have here at Williams Stadium. And there are some really good concession choices. 
just walking around on the concourse. This does not go all the way around the stadium. The concourse is like a U. So we'll go all the way down and we'll show you where the football practice field or facility is. But in order to get to the other side, on the home side, you have to walk all the way back around. It doesn't make a complete circle. Look at that county smoke. Yes, I am loving that. I did not know county smoke was at the stadium, but that is a welcome addition. I just ate there again the other week with my buddy Jimmy. That was delicious as always. Right up here to your left hand side is where the student section is and then straight ahead is where we get to a dead end and I'll show you the practice facility. Just warm ups on the field, get there early, watch some warm ups, get your seat, get your concessions. This is one of the gates coming in. There is a clear bag policy and it has to be a certain size, LU sells them on campus or you can bring your own clear bag for safety reasons. There are visitor buses below the monogram. You can see the monogram off in the distance. That is the practice facility and that is the newer locker room facility right there. We're gonna walk around to the other side, but this is the visitor side, main visitor section right beneath us here and then up top as well. Main student section here right in the middle. And here's a look at the cabanas from far away. That cabana that's mostly full, that's where my people are at. You can see the hill where they tiered it off and the visiting team gets some booze on their way out as well. Back up a little stop near the television center, uh, broadcast center just to show you the cabanas again and the tiered kind of hill setting where kids are out there playing around or people are sitting. All right, this is the other side, or the south side of the stadium. And we got some Kona ice right there. We have some tea coming up. Oh, a hero or gyro. I don't know which way you like to say it. And the bagel and I, they got a little food truck. So you see what I'm saying? It's nice the way they do it. They open it up, they give you more concession options, but yeah, I mean, you always gotta be vigilant, but without having those gates closed, with that little fence right there, certainly not as safe as if those gates were closed. Stuffed cookies right there. There's a Dunkin' Donuts, I believe, on this side of the stadium, if they're still there. Oh, nothing but cakes. Those are pretty good as well. And this is the main side where LU fans, family, not students, typically sit. Students are right across all that red over there. A little drum line action for you. We are not gonna stay. I'll give you a spoiler alert right here. We're not going to stay through halftime. My bride was tired, okay? She didn't want to stay for the whole game. I'm perfectly fine going home. We'll still catch the end of the game. You'll see the victory, don't worry. But here's a little look at the drum line.
Salt, the right half, drivers, end zone to our left. And it's going to be a sliding interception. Salter up the middle, hurdles himself into the end zone. Jordan Johnson tackling from behind, and it's going to be double. Lane Nation, it's almost time for kickoff. Get on your feet, get loud, and get this place rocking with the LU check. L. On the move heading back to our seats here so we can watch some of the game I stopped in here I was going to ask them what is the cheapest thing you can buy at the souvenir stand and what is the most expensive thing you can buy well they were busy with this customer two of them were helping him find a sweatshirt for the evening but I can probably almost guarantee and unless they have a keychain or something one of those little Sparky's right there. No, the foam finger. The foam finger is probably the cheapest thing that you, you can buy here at the souvenir <laughs> stop, whatever it's called. Flames clothing. I don't I don't know what it's called. It's a uh, the place where you can grab some souvenirs. I'm sure that's about the cheapest thing you can get, one of those foam fingers. Back in the cabana. This is the first touchdown of the game. This game ended up being closer than I think it should have been. And, of course, I don't want to ruin the surprise, but yes, LU did win. We do need to show you at least some football since we're at the football game. So I'll show you a couple plays. Zoom in here on the student section. They had a pretty good crowd here in the student section. It was an odd kind of Thursday night game, not a weekend game. The place was not filled up for sure. That is the goal with LU football, to fill this stadium. Now, when we first came and visited LU, none of these upper sections, nothing above the concourse was there. You could walk around, there were no uh, stadium seats built above ground level. So concourse is kind of ground level, and then it goes down into the stadium, the seats. And when we first came here, there was none of that. That new football, I don't know what they call it, but the locker room down there, football center maybe they call it, right there, that big stuff beneath the big screen, wasn't here, and you only had one level, the first level of stands. So quite a bit of building going on. There's always building going on. Right now we're building Commons 4, and they just completed the new um, dining hall. So they just got that done. Lots of building going on here.
and we have some dance cam action going on. Sometimes the dancing is better than others. You know, it just all depends on who they who they fix the lens on. Sometimes they got some skills. Sometimes, eh. This guy, eh. You know, people jumping around, cheering for the team. It's a good time. They're sparky. There's a bucky. Got some LUs in the stands. These guys wanted the cameraman to go look at something else. I don't know exactly what, but they they were excited about him going to look at someone else, not us. Got some ladies jumping around, cheering for the flames. Big red suit. And of course, I'm looking up at the camera or the TV in our cabana. It's nice they have those. Oh, got a shark. It's nice they have the TVs and the cabanas for you to check out and watch the game up there. See the replays and even watch something else if you want to watch a different game that's on TV. As I said, we did not stay past halftime. We came home because my bride was tired, and I was okay with that to watch this. Boom! The final play of the game. The incomplete to seal the Liberty victory. So that is us going to a Liberty football game together. Hope you enjoyed.